Hi guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to cannulate your patient's permanent axis. So first of all guys, we have to prepare or gather the supplies for that assigned patient. And then let's pretend this is our blue pad and then we have to get our sealed and opened ordered needles and then our two to three alcohol pads the gauze the tourniquet and then our tape we will now get our patient just pretend that our patient is a 56 years old lady so this is your blue pad it should be clean and then right there we have to open our 15 gauge needle So our patient has a matured um, AV fistula in her right upper thigh. So first of all, guys, we have to clean the patient's axis with soap and water doorly so that if the patient applied a lidocaine, you have to take it off or wash it away. And then the second step is to assess the patient's axis, whether it has a bruit when you listen and a thrill when you feel it so that um to check if the patient's axis is not clotted and is good to go yun yung um assessment mo guys then second we have to apply the tourniquet kasi tourniquet is a tool for you to have um parang para siyang way or a guide guide you guys for you to cannulate the patient and also if the patient's axis is like a worm na nagwiwiggle or nagmumove siya this one will secure the patient's axis too so we have to get one piece of an alcohol pad and then clean the axis side in a circular motion from inside to outside and then let it dry for a minute you will see it guys when it's completely dry kasi wala na siya sing completely dry na talaga siya so the patient accidentally uh touched the cleaned access so you have to clean it again with another alcohol pad just for infection control guys same thing circular motion from inner to outside so guys, I'm ready to cannulate the patient now. If the patient is telling you I have preference where you can stick me. So you have to check first if there are aneurysm. For example, if it looks like so shiny and black, you have to avoid it. Because those, those places are so prone of bleeding or prolonged bleeding at the end of the treatment. So you have to educate the patient two guys na sir or ma'am i don't have to stick around here i have to stick where it's not really that shiny or black because at the end of your treatment you might be staying here for a while and you will be bleeding so you have to keep educating your patient because you are their advocator so i will be cannulating here and then i have to spread out the patient's skin para hindi niya ma-feel yung sakit ng cannulation. So start it in a 25 degree angle and then go slide in. Magkukuha mo na yung technique. So kita nyo guys, hindi ko siya masyadong um, nilagay or cannulate all the way in. Kasi um, according to the book that I have um, yung nabasa ko, Pag ginano mo siya all the way in, ilet go mo na yung ano, right? Ilet go mo na yung um, tourniquet. Pag ginano mo siya all the way in, if it's a habit, kung parati mo siyang ginaganon, there's a tendency na yung site na kinanulate mo is magbabulge. Magbabulge siya. Tapos, magkoko siya ng parang malaking wheel. So, bale, i, i, ipapalabas natin siya ng konti. Yan. And then, you have to secure it with a tape. Like this. So, lagyan natin siya ng tape. But before putting all the tapes para secure na secure siya, we have to check the patency 
of the needle. Pag may lumabas na dugo at mahina siya, then get a cannula uh, get a 10 cc empty syringe and then you have to aspirate it just to see if may resistance or wala. Pag may resistance, it means to say that yung needle is not inside the access. So, ipupul mo na naman yung access, yung needle, and then you have to check where the access is. Baka na, baka it's, the, the tip of the needle is touching the wall of the access. So, hanapin mo siya. And then, you aspirate again the blood and see if you got it right. So, let's just pretend that you got it right. So, isi-secure na natin yung access by putting more tape. So, I saw some of the staff securing their, uh, securing the access by putting the tape this way. And I'm not recommending it. Yung mga pro, ginagano nila like that. I don't like it that way kasi I have a patient, this is just based on my experience, that yung pasyente gumalaw. Tapos ganito yung taping niya. Hindi naman siya masyadong gumalaw. Pero yung um, the needle got dislodged. So, what happened is nagbleed yung pasyente and then it ended up that you have to cannulate the patient again. So, what I'm recommending for those people that are watching, especially yung mga tech or, or aspiring um, dialysis staff, you have to tape it through a butterfly technique. What is a butterfly technique? Is ganun ninyo siya pag, pag tape. Yung ganun, crisscross. Kasi in that way, the axis is fully secured. Kahit ganunin mo siya, hindi siya matatanggal. And then, you t put a gauze on top of the axis. Para naman, hindi naman siya masagwang tingnan na yung needle nakikita mo. So, ganun. See? That's how you put the, that's how you secure the dressing. And then, let's go to the other one. So we have to put the tourniquet again guys and then clean the axis with a new clean alcohol swab in a circular motion from inner to outer and then get your penis needle and let's cannulate. It should be like an 1 inch to 2 inches apart from your um, arterial needle para yung tip ng needle ng arterial is hindi mag uh, ano sa hindi sasangga or hindi halos magkatabi sa venous pressure natin. So again, let's secure it with one tape first. Yan. And then we have to let go the tourniquet. And then again, let's check for patency. So maganda yung patency ng ating second needle. So, Secure na natin yung pasyente. Yung access ng pasyente by applying a butterfly tape technique. Yan. And here we go. Yan. Oh, sorry. I'm just being resourceful of what I have, guys. Sorry. So, I have to tape that one. Yan, secure na yung ating access ng pasyente. So, let's just say your patient is like, um, parang, parang may langgam parati sa puwet. Move ng move. So, if the patient, if you think that the patient is, um, can't sit properly, or, keeps on moving his axis what you have to do is that you have to tape it on his body part not sa 
hindi sa chair. Kasi pag sa chair, that's bawal, you have to put it in the patient's body part. Sa shoulder niya, sa t-shirt niya, but not on the chair or nor on the table. So, yan guys, isecure mo siya para hindi siya, para yung access hindi mag, mag ano, mag gumagalaw. So, wala. That's it. Our access is good. I hope you learned something from me. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will get back to you as best as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you learned something from this. Be safe and God bless. Bye.